is it Joe Cullen's time to finally claim a Euro to Tour title? To throw first. Game on. The rock star, Joe Cullen. Man from Bradford gets us underway. A race to eight. Paul Nicholson joins me. Dan Whoa. Dawson in the commentary box. And Cullen starts perfectly. I think that's what you call setting the tone, Dan. 119. May not be the best plan. Well, Joe Cullen has not been great this 93. year. There's no getting around it. He's not performed at the same level as he had for the two previous years. And yet, today, 54. he's been magnificent. And he's got better and better as the tournament's gone on. He might have to get better again to stop Mighty Mike, 54. who has posted three ton plus averages and has had a very tough route to the final himself. Yes, he's been the favorite in all of his games, but world number five, Michael Smith. 100. Mensor Sulovic, Champions League winner. Christoph Ratoyski, world master. And Dave Chisnell, five-time major finalist, have all been swept aside. 134. That's all Cullen. He's using the ball very effectively in leg one. Now, he's won the bullseye. So if this does go all the way, he's got that advantage in the bank. Do require 40? Doesn't want to use it. Two tens. Oh, it's a big dart. Just settles him down. A steady 15 dart and denies Michael Van Gerwen a shot at a double in leg one. That's a really Im improved Joe Cullen than in previous games against MVG, do you think? Absolutely. You do not know how massive that is for Joe Cullen because the last time they met was on the Euro Tour a year ago. He was beaten in a semi final 7 0. The time before that, it was the year prior. 2017 on the Euro Tour. He was beaten in a quarter final 6 0. He has lost 13 straight legs on the European Tour to Van Gogh. And the only other time they met on the Euro Tour, he was beaten 6 1. He has won now two legs out of 20 against MVG on the European circuit, despite the fact that Cullen during that time has been one of the best players on the Euro Tour. Winning that first leg was massive. 79. I think he's going to win this game. He's going to have to draw on the experience of the previous game he played against Weary. He was asked many questions on his throw. He was up to it every time. He's going to have to defend this throw with everything he's got and do it in a relaxed fashion. Woo! Look at that! 71. Michael, you require 54. Pressure on MVG. Game from the second leg. Does not Michael tell. Bangu Double 10 is pinned. Focus. And these two trade 15 darters. Did Joe Cullen just do an MVG to MVG? Getting the three triple 19s. Isn't that MVG's trick? Well, MVG could not win the Austrian event last week. He was beaten in the last leg decider by Mensor Sulevich. That will be a frustration. But he has taken out his frustrations on his opponents this weekend. And it has looked like the Michael Van Gogh we've seen for the vast majority of the last few years on the Euro Tour. Well, I stress to everybody watching this around the world, if you're thinking about having a cup of tea, don't do it, because this is quick. They are not hanging around. They're playing like they've got a bus to catch. Bullseye. 63. Perfectly counted. Has had a pop at the 170 today and failed on the bullseye. And Joe's got a great opportunity here to hold again. And a beautiful recovery after a short first dart. It's on. He's just gone the wrong side of it. These are the shots. He's going to defend. He's going to have to do it like this. Could he see enough? You bet he could. Wow. And he's palming him off brilliantly. Three legs, all 15 darters, all where the double has been hit. Last dart in hand with their opponent on a finish. 106 averages for the pair of them just before that visit. Fabulous contest in the early exchanges. Cullen scoring better in the first furlong, second furlong and third furlong. Now, the game that really showed us what Joe Cullen was made of was on the European Tour. He battered Barneveld with a four number average. And then all of a sudden, everybody started thinking, hang about. 
He's quite good, this Joe Cullen lad, isn't he? He's got another level. And since then, he's been a totally different player. Oh, well, his semi-final win against James Wade. 99. First time he's ever won a semi on the Euro Tour, of course. But it took him six times, and some of them were absolute hidings, including that one against Van Gerwen last year. It seemed like a mental block more than anything else. The talent was there. The performance was there regularly in first, second, third round games, even quarterfinals. But he just hit a barrier that he couldn't get through. Can he blast through it here? Not only reach his first final, but to win the title as well. Is it his time? For a chance to break here. Van Gerwen only needs one treble, but it's not easy. He can't get it, and Joe has to do exactly what he's done in the previous leg. And Van Gerwen's missed the board going for tops. Tops is clear. Tops is hit. Cullen striding. He's got the crowd on side. 2,000 rock stars in here. Michael Van Gerwen, the first man to blink. What's your thoughts on that last start of Van Gerwen in the last leg, where he's obviously going for a tops to leave tops, but there's no guarantee that Joe's going to hit that 60 out. He's snookering himself for the next visit, really. He did it earlier on, didn't he? And he successfully hit the tops. I don't like it as a dart. I think it's silly, but it is also a bit of a statement dart. It says to your opponent... I can do whatever I want. Now, Van Gerwen has been able to do whatever he has wanted against Joe Cullen on the European Tour in the past. One Maybe not tonight. We shall see. But MVG pins his first maximum. Oh, when MVG hits him, he comes back with something. He's himself the Paul Hinks favourite. Fabulous scoring from MVG in this leg. Forces Cullen to get the 1 2 7 end game. And game. Whoa. And he only and just two. misses it. Michael, you require 41. Just an extra heartbeat as he lined up that bullseye. Could not pin it. Van Gogh in double 16. Nine. And misses. And mighty two Mike is vulnerable. Five. Cullen needs to take this out. He looks relaxed. Best double four hitter in the world. Oh, you bet he is. He's 4-1 up on MVG. He's halfway to paradise. Joe Cullen has got better and better as this tournament has gone on. His average has increased. It was up at 103 and a half in the semi-final against James Wade. It is at 105 right now. The best we've seen from him, the best one-off display we've seen from him this year on the tour was a pro tour game against Jan Decker, where he averaged almost 111. Now, in previous years, last two, three years, it's not been completely out of the question to see those monster averages from Joe Cullen. He might need to maintain this sort of stuff if he's going to keep Van Gerwen under the cosh. Even Van Gerwen is susceptible to pressure. I think you're right, Dan. I think he's going to have to do this all game. That's Looking to leave 170 for me, he needs another 57. 95. But the beauty about Joe Cullen is, when he gets into this rhythm, which he's been in all day, actually, ever since leg three of his first game this what? afternoon, as MVG Hunter makes it a second 180 to leave himself on a two-dark checkout, when he gets into this rhythm, it looks like he can play like this all day. Yeah, he's been purple since Michael about three o'clock this afternoon. Another one. He's gone for tops instead. 44. And that was something he did earlier because he was having trouble with double 16. Hit a 158 in the semi, did Joe. Oh, oh really? My word. Oh, that was off the bar. 40. Michael, required 20. Savagely unlucky. Well thrown dart. But Michael Van Gogh needs double five. Oh, ho, 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 ho. clinging on. And it is not often that you say that about mighty Michael Van Gerwen. Yeah, Van Gerwen's not an automatic car because that was clutch. 57. Not just about beating people in European Tour finals and majors by massive margins. We underestimate the amount of times he's been tested and he's come through it. And boy, is he being tested here. 134.
Joe Cullen only has two senior titles to his name in PDC darts. They both came in 2017. It has been a long, long wait for Cullen to pick up another title. Has made one final this year. Had a decent day on the Pro Tour before the match play. But by and large, it has not been particularly impressive this year from Cullen. That is a great visit from Van Gerwen in the end to get to a finish. Another. Germans, wonderful stop. This might be happening. It might be Joe Cullen's time because everything he is touching is turning to gold. No celebration, Dan. Keeping the focus, keeping the heart rate down. I like what I see. Well, when he walked off from the semi-final, beating James Wade, it was a significant step for him in making the final but he wasn't engaging with anybody around here backstage. He was keeping his head down, he was maintaining his focus. He knew he had this game against Van Gerwen, a man who had whitewashed him the last two times they played. He did not want to come here tonight, make a first Euro Tour final and then say, well, that's my job done. He wants the title. He said all the way through the last year, but it's about, he should have won one of these already, at least one. And he feels he's let himself down by not doing so. Do you know what, Dan? Those two Pro Tour titles he's won, he didn't get a trophy for them. Got a nice check. But there is a mantelpiece at home that's waiting to have some furniture on it. Sixty. Michael you require 42. This should go out in plenty of time. Double 16. Has been a bit of a trouble, but he's put it right there. Eight legs in. And Cullen is in the driving seat. He is, but it is not a commanding 96. lead. Is there such a thing? There's never. You're never safe against Van Gerwen. What was that burst he put in against Taylor at Maynard? Was it seven legs? He has done that, and he's, he's come from behind. He's come from five, six legs back at the World Match Play to Ian White. Came from six 57. nil down in the semi-finals of the Players' Championship Finals to Darren Webster. He has always got that ability. To put his foot to the floor and just start dominating. Well, after the first six darts of this leg, Joe Cullen has seen an opportunity to put his foot on Michael Van Gerwen's throat, and he's done just that. One hundred. First to eight, remember, in these finals. This was a Euro Tour a couple of years back. Joe Cullen would be 100. He'd be one visit away from a title, but it's not like that anymore. Joe, you require 161. He can't follow up the 170 with a 161, can he? Because that would be ludicrous. It would be ludicrous. Oh, it very nearly is ludicrous. He might have needed that, Dan, because Michael Van Gerwen has crept up behind him, and he's going to have another two darter. 100. Do you require 25? To get himself to six, he needs double eight. Falls again. 17. It lets him down Michael on this occasion. It's the first time that's happened in this match. Joe Cullen has had darts at the outer ring and not taken it out in that visit. Good and Michael Van Gerwen punishes Michael him Gerwin. by pinning tops and breaking Michael back. And the gap is off. cut to just one. Joe Cullen still has the advantage because he won the bullseye, MVG needs to find another break. But it is not as comfortable as it was. Earlier in the match, those conversions 70. were being done. And 161 was not converted in six, the end of the last leg. You have to say it, that is a failure at this point. No matter what the pressure. If you want titles, you're gonna have to convert 161 in six. 93. Treble 19 has been a really good friend, MVG. Not only this week, but last week as well. Joe's going to have to get that range on dart one back. Oh, a nice, comfortable leg for Michael Van Gerwen potentially here. Double top for a 12 darter. Doesn't quite make it, but he will come back. Looking to tie this up at five all. 
when you're playing at this pace, Dan, just get the feeling that at some point, point someone's going to have to take a deep breath. It's like they're playing with their, their breath held. Game it's level. Joe Beckley Cullen has surrendered his players. lead. He still has that valuable hold of throw in the bank. He needed that. He needed that 1-3-4. The last time that Joe Cullen beat Michael Van Gerwen was back in 2014. It is a long, long while. Seven consecutive defeats, including back-to-back -back whitewashes in the two most recent games. He is in this match. One of the biggest matches of his career. Yes, he played the European Championship semi-finals last year. Yes, he played the World Match Play quarter-finals. But winning those matches would not have given him a trophy and a title, something that he craves. Oh, Joe Cullen on the 57. Oh, the 57 is Joe Cullen's Christmas present by the looks of it. He hasn't missed it. I think that's seven treble 19s in this leg. Joe, you require 62. He will be back. Boy, was he throwing those fast. Oh, 171. Not quite. It does not matter. A 13 data for Joe Cullen. If he can continue to produce that sort of stuff on throw, it might be enough. Emphasize might. 100. What would Joe Cullen give for a 12 daughter here to break Van Gerwen and be one leg away? He performed so well in a tight game with Weary in the semis. And there have been questions over mismatched darts in majors in the last couple of years. Didn't mess around against James. Needs the lot here to get on level terms and he gets him on a pinhead. MVG needing to be woken up. On his throne, he has woken up. Look at that for a reply. Can't find his way over. 58. And can't Michael find the 54 that would have left the 170 again. 93. Decided not to go for the 60 because it was closed. And I get the feeling when he comes back to the board, he may split it. Or will he now? Or will he? He's under the cosh. Goes at it. And has to split. And only gets one dart at double eight and does not hit it. And Joe Cullen to go within a leg of the title. It's there. 13 data. Joe Cullen one leg away from a sensational, sensational victory in Mannheim. Whirlwind stuff, this. Feels like this game has been going for five minutes. And I guarantee you, if he wasn't already married to Tony Cullen, right now he'd marry that treble 19. 132. Joe Cullen has not won a title of any sort for two years. He's playing a man who has won 11 titles this year, including the biggest ones. World match play, pr uh, sorry, World Championship, Premier League. He's won 32 of these European Tour titles. Joe Cullen's never been in a final until tonight. And he's taken the game to the best player on the planet. And he has been better than him so far. If MVG doesn't find a treble here, he's in trouble. He's in big trouble, even though he's left the 170. Cullen is favourite for the match in this leg. Trying to leave double four. He'll take that right now because if MVG doesn't take the big fish out, Joe Cullen should get a match dart. However, however, he's missed it. How many darts will Cullen get? Two match darts. He only needs the one. We have waited and waited and waited. And the rock star has finally delivered by claiming his first European Tour title. Magnificent from Joe Cullen today. And a year when he looked like he was fading away. And he's produced one of the best days of his career to beat not only a three-time world champion in Glen Doherty, but the European champion James Wade and now the world champion and world number one Michael Van Gerwen. The Rockstar fulfills his Euro Tour destiny and finally
finally is a champion. He's the European Darts match play winner for 2019 and ends MVG's reign as the champ.